Hey, welcome back, guys. Uh, in my last video, I mentioned that I was planning on installing the Ubuntu Studio packages uh, into my Ubuntu Mate 2004 install. <clears throat> so I, I went ahead and did that. And I'm just going to briefly review some of the steps involved. The first thing that I did <clears throat> was I updated my install. So I, I sudo apt update and then I upgraded. Made sure my system was entirely up to date. And then I ran this command. sudo apt install ubuntu studio dash installer. Now once you install that it will go through the installation process. And then in your menu, you'll have to reboot once that's done. So once you are finished the installation process, go ahead and reboot. Come back to your system. Go into your menus. Now this will work uh, pretty much on anything, uh, any of the Ubuntu flavors. So because I had the Ubuntu Mate, it works, but it'll work in Zubuntu, um, it'll work in Lubuntu, uh, it'll, it'll work in Ubuntu Gnome. Uh, there's a couple of differences. There's one difference. I'll show you that when we get into the installer. But once you install that and reboot, you're going to go to System Tools. You're going to click on Ubuntu Studio Installer. <clears throat> now, before you... Uh, finish your install. This is what it will look like. And you can see there's an explanation for each of, of these commands. You're going to check the ones that you want. The ones that I did, and I'm going to bring up what it currently looks like. Um, I installed everything but the Ubuntu Studio graphics package, the Ubuntu Studio photography package, the Ubuntu Studio Publishing Package, the Video Package, and the Branding. Now, there's a couple of things you don't want to do. You, <clears throat> you do not, if, you, if you're running an edition other than GNOME, do not uh, check off anything that says Branding for GNOME. Now, I did not add any Ubuntu Studio branding. I think what that does it, it is it it'll keep your same desktop, in my case Mate, but it will put uh, the Ubuntu Studio uh, logos and branding throughout your, your, your distro. <clears throat> if you want that, go ahead and install it. I preferred not to do that, and so I did not check that off. You can see that's still here. Adds Ubuntu Studio branding to Ubuntu flavors, <clears throat> and so I and I didn't d do the gnome branding rebrands Ubuntu to Ubuntu Studio. So I left those two alone. I didn't do the video package, publishing, photography, or graphics. I only wanted the um, the audio packages, which is what I ended up with. I'll show you the. Uh, package listing in a moment. <clears throat> so once you finish that and you run your installer off this menu, System Tools, Ubuntu Studio Installer, once you click on that, it's going to bring this menu up. Just select the ones you want as I'm doing down the bottom. Then once you have the ones you want, all checked off, uh, click Install Selected Packages. It is going to go and install all of the packages required. Then it may ask you to reboot. I don't remember if there was a reboot after that, but it pro there probably is. And once you reboot and come back to your desktop, you won't have to do anything. I'm going to minimize that. Um, but in your menu you will find under sound and video you're gonna find a ton of new applications related to the Ubuntu Studio audio package. And so 
whatever it is that you want to do you can see there's mixers there's synthesizers there's all kinds of things I'm not going to go through any of those right now but y you'll have um, you'll have a lot of uh, playing around to do so there's all kinds of things you can discover now one thing I would suggest is if you are not familiar with it go to the Ubuntu studio uh, wiki I'll put these links in because there's all all kinds of uh, documentation and uh, instructions and so here's one here I'll put this in there also but here are the Ubuntu studio features for audio so it's got, got a little explanation of what you've got with it uh, and so if you are uh, going to do this then you'll want to familiarize yourself with a lot of the capabilities of these applications and they'll all be listed for you in the menu so I'll give you links to all of this information with that you should be able to get a little bit of a running start um, so far I have used a little bit of it for my MIDI keyboard and everything is working out well uh, haven't had any problems and as I said I'm running uh, Windows programs through Wine in this Ubuntu Mate install not having any issues at all. So, um, I'm really enjoying it. As I said, I don't even have Windows installed on this particular computer. So uh, guys, that is it for this brief video. I'll be back in a few days with another video. Um, so if you uh, if you like the video, uh, please go ahead and and give give it a, give the video a like. Please uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for stopping by the channel today, and I will see you soon. Take care.